Welcome back everyone, I'm Dana the Dinosaur Drawer and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw the Indoraptor head from the final Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer. So I'm really excited for this new movie. You can go check out the final trailer on my channel. But yeah, it's coming out June 22nd in theaters. So let's get started with this head. Sort of a challenging angle to draw from straight on. So I just want to tell you guys, the first time I saw the head revealed in the trailer, I thought, oh, it looks very much like a T-Rex head, because it does. So that's going to be really fun to do. Such a cool looking dinosaur. Really, really can't wait till that movie comes out. So yeah, we're going to start with the outline, put it like an oval shape. <clears throat> then we're going to have a line here for the bottom jaw, like so. Just doing a quick, rough outline, and then we'll start putting in some details. The eyes will be right about here. There's an eye ridge. I don't really the eye outline. You can always erase. Try and do, do like light strokes with your pencil. So it won't be that hard to erase. The tongue's right out there. The teeth are sticking out. Then also, I might put in a little bit of the neck. Which also looks very cool. It's got a very thick neck. So yeah, this looks like a good outline. Now we can erase a little bit of the lines we do not need. And then head on to refining our drawing. So to avoid smearing, I think we should start with the neck. Which might not be the most exciting part, but it's good to get it done first. Same way you eat dinner before you eat dessert. <laughs> See, it's got these plates on the top of its head. Doesn't, uh, not the head, on top of the neck. Not, doesn't really have any spikes, like the Indominus Rex. By the way, I'm not sure if you guys saw the Indominus Rex skeleton in the trailer. It looked really cool. I might even do a video on a tribute to the poor Indominus Rex. Do a video of how to draw the Indominus Rex skeleton. That was really cool. So I'm gonna put dive right into doing the shading. By the way, you can see I'm using this clear sheet to help me avoid smearing. It's not another YouTuber doing it. So I thought, oh, that's a genius idea. Why haven't I thought of that? So this is the first time I'm doing that in one of my videos. So I'm really happy about that. Because smearing is such a big problem when I'm drawing. I'm always smearing. So once you have the shading done, you can put a little bit of refinement. As you can see, I cleaned up a little bit over there with my eraser. It's got pretty thick neck. I'm going to probably stop right there, even though we can see a little more in this reference image. Let's have one line going like so. It's got a bunch of veins. You can see bulging. I'm going to put those in. It's really amazing how well they did with the animation of this Indoraptor. So we're going to put some shading for each individual each individual vein. It's bulging out here. I actually think they almost revealed too much in the trailers. I know a bunch of you have been saying stuff like that because they've given us so much so many clips of the Indoraptor and everything in the trailers I am really happy that they released some stuff on the Indoraptor but it also would have been really cool if they had kept it like a big secret you know so like we were really anticipating what the Indoraptor looked like because that would force more people to go to the theaters I guess we build up that anticipation of what the Indoraptor is going to look like. So yeah, let's put in some scales. I'm going to make this drawing really accurate. So let's do some scales. I might have this part time lapsed. So the next thing we're going to be working on is putting a little bit more refinement into the neck here. Might even get out get out one of my shading pencils to do a little bit of better job on the shading here of the veins. If you guys have shading pencils, they're really helpful. 
I almost never use the lighter tone ones. I use the darker ones a lot more. So my mechanical pencil does a pretty job to fill in the rest. So let's put in some shading in between. It looks like this picture was taken in like the rain. That that's hard to draw to get something to look wet. So I'm just going to draw it as if it was dry. So that's very cool. Got some nice shading done there. Now right here, we want to maybe emphasize this vein as well. Put some shading for that. And also <clears throat> add some scales. Add some scales in between, even on top. Let me get my other pencil, actually. As you can see, I put a bunch of scales right about here. I had it time-lapsed. So when something's time-lapsed like that, just pause the video. Then you can catch up. So there's a bunch of methods of, on how to draw scales. There's like the fast method, which is you just twirl your pencil around like so. Or you can take a lot of time and put lots of circles in like this. You guys have probably heard me say that a bunch of times on other videos. Let me make these veins a little longer so it won't look like a complete cut right away. <clears throat> I'm going to put some more shading as well. So yeah, I would love to see some requests below in the comments on what you think I should draw next from the new trailer. I know there's so many great scenes, but I'd like to draw the scenes you guys like the most first. The other ones can wait. So yeah, be sure to comment below on what are your favorite scenes from the new trailer. And I will get add them to my list. Like no one has commented for this one to be done. I just really wanted to do it, so. So I put some shading right here. Some shading from the head. That was looking very cool. All my I think most of my drawings from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer are really good. So let me do some erasing here. So yeah, if you if you have one of these or like just a any clear sheet or paper, I highly recommend you use it because smearing is a huge problem. As you can see, I've already smeared a little bit around there. It's a really big hassle and wastes a lot of time because like it makes you have to erase and stuff. I mean, the less you have to erase, the better. A lot of times, I like to do um, drawings with. I start off with pen and see how well I can do. Because with pen you can't erase, so it's great practice to do drawings with pen. So I'm going to put scales all over here. So in the trailer, the guys, one of, I think it's maybe the auctioneer who says, this is the most dangerous animal on earth. So I'm really curious about how deadly the Indoraptor will be. Like in the trailer, it clearly doesn't kill any people. You don't see anyone killed. Like the Indominus Rex kills a bunch of people <laughs> in Jurassic World. But in the trailer, they didn't, they didn't show the Indoraptor killing anyone. And they didn't, <clears throat> they didn't really show how it escaped. Which will be very cool to see. And I'm really not sure why they have so many scenes in the little girl's bedroom. I, they're just like trying to <laughs> put, give us some suspense or something. I think it's pretty obvious to all of us that I don't think Jurassic World would just would have a little kid killed in their movie. Because almost all the time in the Jurassic movies, 
the kids never die. It's always like <laughs> the adults. And they always have kids in Jurassic movies. There's always like a couple usually in Jurassic movies. There's a few other people. You can't really get attached to any, a lot of the people because you know they're going to die. Like Mr. Maserati, I was really sad that he was killed in Jurassic World. So yeah, let's go into the harder part. I'm drawing the head. Get this outline correct. I know I've already said this, but it looks a lot like a T-Rex head. Just the shape and everything. It's a little narrower. It's got the same eyebrow shape. See, so the eyes will be right about here. I think it's a little wider. The jaw here. Got a very wide bottom jaw. I think the teeth are what make it look really wide. This is gonna be really fun to draw. It's got these really groovy teeth. I mean, like, these teeth are cooler than the Indominus Rex teeth. I'm not sure how to pronounce this dinosaur's name. It's My Psychosaurus, I think. But it has, like, it's teeth that are similar to the Indoraptors. Might have made this a little too wide. Cut it more like so. So I'm gonna put my pad back on here. And yeah, let's get started with the head. So we're gonna tackle the Indoraptor head one bite at a time. Let's start with this left eye. So you want to have sort of like a, almost like a semicircle right there. Now you might say that eye looks really big, but we're not, this is not the eye. This is going to be, well, I mean, it is the eye, but we're going to do the eyelids, which will make it look much larger. The actual eye is about right there. So get my eraser and erase this one line there. I think they were trying to make in this pick in this um, part. They're trying to make the Indoraptor look really scary. The, my actually my favorite scene of the Indoraptor in the trailer is the one where it's on top of the roof. Like oh, that looks like that has like horror movie written all over it. <laughs> that one shot of the Indoraptor on the roof with the moon in the background. That was a great shot. Like the new direct. Like I know Colin Trevorrow did the other like the first Jurassic World. There's another guy who's doing the one that's coming out. I'm so happy Chris Pratt's in it. Like, Chris Pratt's my favorite actor and as you can see, it's a portrait of him that I did as the user image right now. I'm probably going to change it to this picture as soon as the video comes out, so. depending on how good this drawing turns out. <sighs> so this whole eye socket area is going to be really shaded in. It's got like a, like a bag under its eye right about here. I'll put that in. See, it's kind of hard to show the, to draw the dinosaur from the front, but hopefully yours turns out really good. I'm put all this shading in around this area. It's going to have the light glinting off on the eye ridge there, so that's why I'm drawing right up to the line, but not crossing it. And actually, the picture cuts there, but I'm going to guess what the rest of the iris looks like. 
So finally we have some actual footage of the Interruptor. That's reliable. I just know once like the new the movie comes out that people are gonna see my old Interruptor videos, which I was just guessing. They're gonna say this is all wrong. <laughs> and maybe I should take the videos down. But they're getting so many views. I think I should leave them up for a little bit more. Well, the one of the interrupter snout and hand is accurate. And the foot, that's all, because that's all I drew of it. So yeah, let's put in the eyes. So, the eyes are really challenging. They're like, very Indominus Rex-like. So they're really, I don't know, they don't have like, they're like pupilless, which makes them look really creepy. So that's basically what the eyes look like. Put it in like that. Yeah, and this image is really hard to tell. Maybe I should lighten it up a bit. <sighs> really want the eye to stand out in this picture. So yeah, for the top ridge, we want to have some separation for the scales that are here. They're like in different units. And as I said, the light is glinting off this area, so we're going to leave it perfectly light, like so. And let's put in a bunch of scales. I probably won't time lapse this part, so you guys can follow along. Let's have this line a little darker. So I'm assuming the Interruptor is going to get killed somehow in this movie. But I'm really not sure how that's going to happen. Like, it would be too cheesy, I think, if the T-Rex killed it. If Rexy killed it. Like, that would just be a bad move on <laughs> the script, the movie writers. Like, the Rexy already sort of killed the Indominus Rex. It's not really more of the Mosasaurus did it. But... It also killed the Carnotaurus and the Raptors in the first movie, and etc. etc. So, I really don't think they should have the T Rex kill the Interruptor. And for that matter, maybe not even the Mosasaurus. It's probably going to be something like the, a building falls on it or something like that. I'm just guessing, I really don't know. Say so comment below how you think the Interruptor is going to die in the movie, or if it's going to live. That also is a possibility. I know Dr. Wu is in the movie, and he's definitely a bad guy. Because he was the one who like stole, stole a few embryos and got into the helicopter. Pretty sure most of you remember that in Jurassic World. So it's probably he who created the, the Interruptor. So even though Hoskins is dead, they're going to push forward with his ideas. And it looks like, like, you guys probably all know this by now, but Claire is definitely trying to save the dinosaurs. And Owen, I think, is only going because of Blue. But I hope he, he gets reunited with Claire, because it is the, in the first trailer, it sort of shows them that she's dating someone else and stuff like that. So I hope they finally get married or something in this movie. It's like the relationships are terrible in Jurassic World or in the Jurassic Park movies. Like Alan Grant doesn't get married. And then, yeah, not, like basically almost no one gets married in Jurassic World movie, Jurassic Park movies. So that would be cool if they actually got married in the in this Jurassic movie. That would be something new. I think it would be appreciated as well. So right now we're going to do the top of the head. Like so. What I'm going to do is have a slight light line going like so. Dividing the two halves of the head. Right here is where the nostril is going to be. Now the two nostrils. It's got, nostrils are 
quite thin. I want to put the scales that are outlining it. Put those in. Not sure if you guys can see the eye that well. I might have to lighten up on it. Yeah, that looks pretty good for the eye. So yeah, once you've finished your Indoraptor drawing, please go post it on my Google Plus community. I'd love to see how it turned out. And by the way, my Google Plus Dinosaur Art community just hit 300 members. So yeah, help me make it become 400 members. I'd love to see your dinosaur art, even if it's stick figure dinosaurs. I promise you, I will love to see your art. So I'm going to put some shading right now. Shading is really the key to making your drawing look looking three-dimensional. Like I said, I've said before, scales do help, but shading is what brings it to life. And that's totally, that's completely true when you're doing a black and white drawing. With pencils, maybe a little different, but still shading. Shading is what makes stuff look believable like there's so many great YouTube channels out there that do like portraits of famous people uh, I, I still don't know how they do it but they make the portrait look so realistic it looks like a photograph so that's my ultimate goal is to get at that level love to be able to just draw everything and make it look like not really three-dimensional but make it look like a photograph So I'm not sure if any of you guys are fans of modern art. I'm definitely not. Because I really can't see how hard it is. A lot of people have big explanations of why it's really hard to create modern art. But it doesn't really take much skill, really. Like I've done a few, I call them paint splatterings, where I just take a bunch of paints and um, make a modern art piece. I've done that like a few times, not really that much because I'm not into modern art but it really doesn't take skill to make a piece that some people will say is worth like millions of dollars you're always hearing about these modern art pieces that are selling for so much money when the artist probably didn't didn't work that hard on the on the piece whereas if you're drawing a face or like a portrait or an animal and if you make it look realistic now that takes skill. So yeah, let's, I made these lines so we can sort of make the scales in rows. Let me actually do a bit of scales in the shading area, though it's not that necessary. So I put those in, then we can begin putting these scales up the rows but again we don't want to make it look too mechanical you want to have it look sort of organic even though <laughs> this is not really an animal I mean it's, it, it's, it's a living organism but the Indoraptor and the Indominus Rex are both not really dinosaurs they're hybrids So here the scales can get a little bigger. I'll give it some variety. So I know a bunch of you have commented that you'd like me to draw like a made-up hybrid or something. But if you guys have any ideas, I'd love to see them. You can leave them in the comments below. I know one person said uh, Dilophosaurus Rex, 
but apparently a lot of people have drawn that, and I, I want to sort of make my own. But I could use ideas, is what I'm saying. But every time a new new Fallen Kingdom trailer comes out, I get so overwhelmed with, like, I have just so many things on dinosaurs on my list to draw. So right now I have like over 50 Fallen Kingdom drawings and Jurassic World drawings. A few superhero, superhero drawings I'm planning to do. And then a bunch of just regular dinosaur drawings because I know there are a few of my subscribers who really appreciate the realistic dinosaurs. So if you'd like to see a dinosaur in realistic form, please comment below. It may take a few months for me to actually draw it, but I'll definitely add it to my list and it will get done sometime. Basically as long as it's not Archaeopteryx <laughs> or some feathered dinosaur, because I really don't draw feathered dinosaurs that much. So one thing I miss about the, the Indominus Rex is all the quills and spikes it had. Those were really cool. And I wish the Indoraptor had more of that. It may have some spikes on its back, but not, not any on its neck, as we can see here. So I may have smeared a bit here with the eraser. I sort of want to give it a tint of light there. So we're going to work on the top of the head now. Put on my shading pencil. Like so. See, as I've said before, you guys have heard this, unless you're a new visitor. I'd highly encourage you to check out my website, my blog, and my Google Plus profile, and also my Patreon site. They're all worth checking out. I got a bunch of drawings and pieces of art that are not on my YouTube channel. So my website is basically a gallery of a lot of my work. Some of it's dinosaur based, but other drawings I've done are not. So you might be interested in that. Then also my blog, I try to write on it, but I've only done a few posts, but I'm going to do more in the future. Mostly write about dinosaurs. I know a bunch of you are more like video watchers and not readers. But if you are a person who likes reading literature, you can check out my blog and give me some tips and pointers, comments, on how I can improve it. See how it's pretty good? Sort of want to retain this line through the middle here. So this side is actually going to be easier to draw because it's so shaded. So I'm going to make a line with my pencil right across here. And like this one, this part of the, the eye ridge is quite light because of the, you know, the light shining on it. But this side, on the other hand, is going to be dark. So yeah, let's do a bunch of shading and shade this whole area in. I'm actually going to get out another pencil. I know this video might be a little long, so I probably should have time lapsed part of the part of the me, the part of me doing the scales. Yeah, get out your pencil, shading pencil, or even just your regular pencil will do fine. 
leave a little bit of space there around the nostril. So we're going to do some, put in some scales there. I want to shade in this entire area. Get a nice dark shade. And in fact, let's just do the rest while we're here, except not the eye area. We want to get this whole spot shaded in. And yeah, then we can start refining this side of the head. So let's focus on the right eye right now. We can't really see much of it in this reference image. We can see part of it. So I'm going to put in the eye before we completely engulf the rest of the, the side of the head in shading. So I'll put the eye in, the eyelids. It might, the eye looks a little high, but, well actually let, let me lower it a tiny bit. Sorry guys, <laughs> hope yours was in the right spot. Let's do it right about here, looks like the right spot. So I want to have it facing forward. But yeah, just put the eye out like so. The rest of this is basically going to be shaded in. And parts of it are sort of shining, a little bit of light. Let's try and shade it in. So we've got some nice shading done in this area. Now we've got to finish the top of the head here. We might put a mechanical pencil out. So I want to separate it a little more into scales. Like I can't imagine how like the all the dinosaurs in the Jurassic movies seem to be immune to guns. It's like Owen's shooting at the Interruptor and it seems to just make it more angry. The Adonis Rex gets shot dozens of times. I understand like it got shot a lot of the time was just with the tranquilizers, but Owen does shoot a bunch at it with his... I don't know the name of the gun, but it's like a pretty powerful gun. And it doesn't die, so they must be pretty tough animals. So let's put some sh some scales in this area. It's mostly actually wrinkled. So yeah, the two wrinkles you just actually yeah, I don't really know what to do with for wrinkles, but just do like a lot of lines going in different directions. Haven't I know a lot of the dinosaur drawings look really cool due to the wrinkles in the skin, it gives it a lot of texture. That's one thing I need to explore. Also computerized drawings are so getting so good. A bunch of you guys have been posting these really good ac accurate drawings on the dinosaur art community. I'm like how do they do this? Some different c computer programs. But I haven't experimented at all with drawing with computers and maybe I should or even just a tablet but I'm def I will definitely always be doing my I can't be sure because I don't know the future but I would love to keep on doing my YouTube videos with just pencil and and paper because I know a lot of you guys like that style like when Beatney Draws started doing his videos basically just with his tablet. I actually didn't like them that much. I liked them better before when they were pencil and pen. 
So yeah, let's get into the next phase and start drawing the teeth. So yeah, let's fill in the teeth in the top jaw. It's got some really cool looking teeth, as I've said earlier in the video. But yeah, I'm actually going to start over here. The reason I did not put in so much of the bottom jaw is because you can't really see it that well because of all the teeth that are in the way. So I'm using this as a smear protector. So yeah, let's drive right in. Actually, I'm going to put this tooth in first. Nice tooth. You want to sort of keep them sort of whitish. So don't really shade them just yet. They're all sticking out to the side. Like so. It's got a ton of them. They're all packed in there. Have a nice big one right here. I hope I'm doing the Interruptor justice here. It looks so cool in this reference image that I was actually quite like challenged to draw it. I was like, can I make this Interruptor look as good as it does? I mean, of course, the almost artist can almost never make the thing look perfect, but sometimes they can. In this case, it was a big challenge because. This is a great, I have a great reference image of the Interruptor. So I want to put in all these teeth. Now you can put a little bit of texture around them, but I don't want to concentrate too much on that. Let's continue on with the rest of the teeth on the other side. So they're sort of like the Indominus Rex teeth, except they look a lot like, almost like claws instead of teeth. So they're really curvy. And they sort of stick out to the side, giving it more of a ferocious look. So I'm putting those teeth. Maybe give it a little bit of refinement, but they look pretty good if they're left as they are, because we're going to be shading in between them. And as I've said before many times, it's always good to make the teeth bigger than you actually intended, because when you're shading around it, it's going to make the tooth look much smaller. So that's why I'm enlarging a few of these teeth. So yeah, looks very, very cool. Now let's start by, I mean, let's start shading a bit, I guess. So we want to shade between the teeth here. Give a little bit of space for the gums. Like so. So you want to be careful not to shade on top of your, the teeth. And have it really dark right near the top. The shadow is going to get a little lighter as it gets closer. Just be really careful about smearing here. That looks pretty good for a start. I actually think now I'm going to put in the tongue. So the tongue is sort of heart shaped. It comes right about here. So we can shade up to the tongue. By the way, I'm using this pencil that was sent to me by Arteza. So if you haven't checked out the unboxing videos I did featuring Arteza's pencils, I recommend you go check those out on my channel. Because <clears throat> they're actually really good quality pencils and I've already done a few videos and drawings using them.
So that's pretty good. Next step will be putting in the teeth of the bottom jaw, which are actually more scary looking than the top teeth because they're a lot spikier looking and they're more there's more space between them which gives it more of like an Indominus Rex look so if you've not already checked out Beanie Draws he has a bunch of videos on how to draw Jurassic World stuff I know a bunch of you know him because his channel is a lot bigger than mine but yeah if you want to if you're wondering if anyone else is drawing dinosaurs, I recommend you go check him out on his channel. He's got a great Australian accent, so makes the videos really enjoyable. But I guess for people in England and stuff, because I know I have a bunch of people from England and around in Europe who've been watching my videos. I'm not sure if my voice sounds interesting or something. For like an English person, I guess an American's voice might sound more rare, unusual. Because I know Americans all like English and Australian, New Zealand accents. See, let's get some more shading in between there. So yeah, that's really cool. The Indoraptor is really getting flushed out now. So I want to have these lines that are inside the inside the mouth. You have to be careful not to draw on the teeth. Let's put those lines in there. We will shade around the tongue later because I don't want to do. I don't want to smear that much. So let's finish the scales on the jaw here. So this where we want to have this cup type shape for the front of the jaw and have it curve like so. And yeah, let's just use our regular scaling me scale method. This time I'm going to be making them a little larger because that's what they look like on the bottom jaw. So I bet this video is going to get super popular once the movie comes out. Because a lot of people will be wanting to draw the Indoraptor. So yeah guys, I'd love to see your comments on what other poses of the Indoraptor you'd like. Probably going to be drawing the Indoraptor a bunch. Especially once the new movie comes out, there will be so many good clips and pictures of the Indoraptor that'll be really good to draw. So let's continue making the scales. You want to have them sort of more narrow shape now to give the drawing a little better look because now the scales are facing toward us. You have to use all these different little tips when you're drawing dinosaurs from the front. Because it's actually quite challenging and it's an art I'm still trying to master. See, so let's put some more refinement lines here. Maybe a little bit more shading as well. So for the shading on this little cup type area, I just want to make these two lines. Don't make them very dark, but put the two lines there. Then we can start putting in the scales. So this part here, is, we're going to not put any scales, or we're going to put them really light colored, because the light is glinting off there. I don't know if you guys have noticed this already, but this video has taken me already three days to make. I haven't like I turned the camera on, do a little bit of drawing, and turn it off. That's why I got my found my clear piece of plastic. I was using it for another drawing. But thanks to my new video editor, I'm now able to glue videos together. It used to be that I had to make tons of videos in like five and six part segments. 
And I know that's kind of annoying to go look for the fifth part or the sixth part. See, let's put the scales in. You want all of them to be touching. In some cases, it's cool to have a different variation where the scales are not touching. Like, they're all separated like, like that. There's like a little bit of space between each scales. But the Indoraptor is not so. The Indoraptor has all the scales packed together. So put in all these scales. Now, as I said before, you don't want to make them look like perfect circles. They want they need to be very organic looking. See, I've got the scales all the way up to that line. I want to give a little bit of shading in this area. Get more of a three-dimensional look. As I've said before, this area is going to be really heavily shaded. So actually I might... I'll do these scales, but I'm going to need my plastic. Because as you see, I've already smeared a bunch there. So we might put a little bit of scales here but make them much lighter than the rest. It might look a little weird not to have any scales there, I was just realizing. So yeah, go ahead and put in scales in this middle section. To make them quite really light. Like so. I wish I could do the water effect, because like the Indoraptor looks so cool with the rain, like, dripping from its jaws. So yeah, let's tackle this mouth. As you can see, I've already done a little bit of shading on the tongue. Let's do some shading on the tongue, right here. And overall, give the tongue, like, a darker shade. We don't want it to stand out too much. You want your people who are looking at your drawing to see the teeth. And the tongue is also inside the mouth, so it's going to be quite dark. Sort of like a heart shape. So yeah, now around the tongue, it's going to be even darker. Because the the, there's a bunch of shadows. So be careful not to get the teeth colored. Oh yeah, that looks really cool. So you see, as soon as you start putting in this nice dark shade, it really gives the Indoraptor's mouth a three-dimensional look. So yeah, put it in like so. Now of course you want to get a little lighter as you get closer to the outside of the jaw. So get a little lighter. Like so. And yeah, there we have it. The inside of the jaw. Looking very, very cool. Now guys, I want you all to post your drawing on my Google Plus community. I'm really interested to see how your Indoraptor turned out. And it would be a big encouragement if I got lots of posts on the same dinosaur so we could compare, or not really compare them, but I just like to see all the different styles because so many people draw with different styles. No one is really correct when it comes to 
like sketching styles. See how this erase a bit of the smearing. I'm not sure if you guys smeared. You might have smeared worse than me because unless if you use a paper or something or a clear sheet, then the smearing will be minimalized. But even with this clear sheet, I've still managed to smear a bunch. So let's get this line done. And really all we have to do now is fill in these scales on this side. So we'll put those in. I always get really excited when we're so close to finishing an epic drawing. This is probably like the best drawing on my channel and it's definitely going to be my profile picture. Could be yours as well. So. You could take a picture of your drawing, put it as your profile picture, because that would be cool. So yeah, we have all the scales done. Now we just got to put a little bit of shading, because this side is naturally darker than the other side. Let's put the shading in. Right about here. So yeah, our Indoraptor drawing is finished. I'm actually really happy with how this drawing turned out. It's probably one of the best ones on my channel. So yeah, instead of signing, I decided to leave my little dinosaur card here in the corner. So yeah, be sure to sign your drawing, leave the date, and yeah, if you've not already done so, please subscribe, leave a comment on what you think I should draw next, and leave this video a like. So right now, take a picture of your dinosaur drawing, and please post it on my dinosaur art community, because I'll love to see how your drawing turned out. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.